this area here, it's on Eaglefield Creek on, on Pasha Station. This site was identified as an area that was remnant vegetation, so they approached us and asked if we would be willing to allow the zoologists and botanists to come and survey this area, and there was no worries with us at all with regarding that. The Conserving Brigalow Corridors project by NQ Dry Tropics is a project that's about improving the condition and extent of threatened ecological communities of Brigalow in the Burdekin catchment. We've partnered up with local experts, NRA Environmental, and ecological interpretations to assess the flora and fauna of the Brigalow project site so that we can look back in five years and see how much we've improved in terms of flora and fauna abundance in these project sites. With the Brigalow project here on Pasha Station, we've um, implemented a fauna survey program which follows the survey techniques and design of the Queensland Fauna Survey Guidelines. The guidelines require that we implement a range of different fauna sampling techniques. That includes things like Elliot traps, pitfall trapping, funnel traps, bird surveys, targeted searches for various types of animals both day and night, various types of detection and catching techniques for microbats. By doing all those techniques it allows us to um, develop an understanding of the entire fauna assemblage that occurs here in this Brigalow patch. The primary objective is to establish a baseline of what fauna lives here and the sort of abundances that they're here in. We've set up like a few trap sites, formal survey sites around the place. We've got a variety of different traps here and what we'll be doing is using all those different trapping techniques and survey techniques to try and identify as many fauna as possible. So that's through to your skinks and your geckos, your, your small mammals like your rodents and your small desiurids, your birds, the whole lot. We'll document it all here. And what that then gives us is some detailed information of what the faunal ecology is here. That detailed information will give us some insights into what specific management might be needed for uh, the protection of the, the Brigalow Forest here. It will also give us a baseline condition in the future to look back on to see how effective the management techniques were in that period of time. It's amazing what you find in the landscape after dark. The nature of a lot of Australian mammals and reptiles is that they come out after dark. It's um, very interesting to see what the zoologists and that can trap and find and identify. We work very closely with the landholders, make sure that all of our projects benefit the wildlife at no cost to their productive enterprise. We've always been keen on our native environment, so we're quite willing to control this area and, and keep it going that way. I mean, we're, we're not losing any production out of it. We can still graze cattle in here. It's not going to have any financial impact on our operations whatsoever. And I think most landholders, if they do get involved in this sort of research, they find it very interesting. Um, our fauna sampling site consists of drift fence array. It's a T-shaped drift fence. It's a drift fence probably about knee high. Each arm is about 15 to 20 metres long. And we've got four buckets and six funnels set up along that drift fence. The idea being that animals encounter that drift fence and they either fall into um, those 20 litre buckets that we've buried into the ground or they um, move into those funnel traps at the end of the um, drift fence arrays there. In addition to that little trap, trap set up there, we've got 20 Elliot traps, and they're primarily going to sample the small mammals here. Also in this area, we've got acoustic bat detector, and that bat detector will be recording what bats are flying around in the area, and then we can take that um, acoustic data back to the office and identify those species based on their calls. Also in this area, we've got full cameras, uh, surveillance cameras we're talking about here. Um, that'll help us establish for the meat baits what sort of predators or omnivores might be around and then the sweeter baits might be again for some of the smaller or medium sized mammals that might be attracted to, to sweet baits. Nearby we've got some harp traps set up and those harp traps are used to capture microbats. That's another technique just for helping us establish what um, small microbats are present in the area. Following the results of these ecological studies, what we'll do is we'll put together a management plan for the project site, which can include a variety of actions, including weed management, installation of off-watering points and fencing, and pest management, in order to conserve and protect that Brigalow ecosystem. We'll be provided with the data what all the species lists that have been identified here, plants and animals. But more interesting is that it is recorded now in this area where, and once it's on the system, well, you know, 10, 20, 50 years time, people can come to this exact spot and, and record the species and see what's changed and whether it's for better or worse. And yeah, it'll, it'll certainly provide very useful information.